Hey guys, this is all for for the sand crabbers out there. Uh, you've probably seen these high speed air body saws. And a gentleman on uh, Hobbycast uh, forum, uh, Google group, uh, Yahoo groups, Yahoo groups, Hobbycast. Um, he talked. Uh, put up about four or five pictures of how he modified one of these and labeled it an air rammer. But all he did was show this. He showed where he cut he cut the nose off like this and then you got the spring and then you got the adapter that held the blade. And that's all he did for saying it was an air rammer. Well, I took it a little step further. I took, and, and l let me back up a second. I made another video on how to repair these. These are... The poorest quality tool I've seen in a long time. Chinese junk. This shaft in here, this plunger that goes in and out to work the saw blade is of the lowest grade aluminum I've seen in years. Uh, when, I, when I took this off, these threads were all mangled. These were all junk. Inside, I found other things. I paid $35 to have this thing shipped to me. And it's a piece of junk. Harbor Freight had them on sale at their lo um, local stores for 10 bucks. I had to pay 35 So, you know, there's a one heck of a markup on these things. <coughs> and when I got it, it didn't work. So I'm, I made another video where I take this apart and show you what was wrong and how to fix it. And there's going to be some modifications to this um, tool. When, I, when this, yeah, this plunger here breaks or, wear, or wears out or whatever, fails, I'm going uh, to rebuild it. And in the other video, I go into more detail. But for right now... Just to give you an idea how to make uh, make this into an air rammer for ramming green sand, I took two and a half inch aluminum, about an inch and a half thick, did a bore in here, flat, uh, a nice flat square walled bore, then chamfered it with a quarter inch bevel, and then this is one inch aluminum, so about six inches, six, seven inches long, and I did a press fit, and I preheated it to about 550, 600 degrees, and then I TIG weld it with triple pass. So that's triple passes weld. And then on this end, I drilled and tapped it to 3 8 24, and I ha uh, uh, like I said, the threads here were all mangled. So I um, took it apart, chucked it, in, uh, uh, clamped it up, and I tried to weld the um, the mangle of threads with a TIG welder. Now I set the TIG welder all the way down to 23 volts, and just putting. A couple of passes on this, on the top side, the thing bent like that. It's that soft of aluminum. So needless to say, after this thing is smashes back and forth, it's probably going to bend again. So, anyway. Get this down. This is the fun part, getting it on. I'm probably off camera. 
I'm just trying to get it started. All right, I got it started. Get a vice grip in here. You got two flats right there. Thread that little baby right on. Now you have a real air rammer and this really works nice. Let me get the airline. That will really ram some green sand into your flask. Hope that gives you some ideas. And like I said, I'm going to do another video where I take this apart and I'll show you all the things that were wrong with it. And there was a lot. There was enough to the point that it wouldn't work. One air rammer.